is our third International Driverless Vehicle Summit and it's hosted in Adelaide to showcase the South Australian Government's leadership in this space. Our initiative started in 2015 at that time we closed a road to be able to deploy some technology that now is readily available in passenger vehicles uh, from a whole uh, suite of manufacturers. So that's how fast this industry is moving and we have delegates from all over the world and they're showcasing their global leadership to an Australian marketplace but also I'm really pleased to say that we are showcasing Australian expertise, Australian industries that are thriving based on the investment that uh, governments are making including South Australian government in this sector and also positioning themselves into a global marketplace. The idea is we can use these vehicles where there's a lack of public transport or there's a service with low volume patronage and they can, the routes can be altered quite easily to service multiple areas. So it's where you don't need a 12 and a half metre bus with 75 people but a smaller capacity to fill those gaps in from the heavy rail through to a shopping centre and in a situation like this around a hospital. The driverless vehicle economy is, uh, is quite significant, $900 billion, it's estimated by 2025, so that's a very short period of time. But importantly, we're going to save 90% of crashes and injuries that occur on our. So we're doing this not just because it's an economic benefit, because it's a, a community safety benefit. It's about providing access to personal transport to people who never would have access to it. So the disability sector um, are, are key to see this uh, innovation uh, support them so that they can have their own personal mobility.